So you can see on the screen that I'm trying to build a dashboard layout with the sidebar menu. So I have some buttons here which are going to be used as a menu on the sidebar on this dashboard. So we will see how we can improve this sidebar menu with the help of material UI icons. Because as of now I've just created a different tabs here on the sidebar with the buttons. But this is not really looking interesting. This is looking too basic. So we will try to use material UI icons to make them interesting. Stay tuned till the end of the video. Let's see how we can implement material UI icons in this application. So I'll go to the another tab and search for material UI icons. So here on the first link, I can find the documentation related to material UI icons. So you can see that material UI has a very huge collection of icons. And there is a search bar here and we can search any icon we want from this collection. But before we start using material UI icons, we have to install material UI icons into our project. So to do that, I'm just going to go to another tab and search for material UI install. So here there is a link to install material UI into our applications. So you can copy this link and install material UI by using this npm install command. I have already done that. We also have to install material UI icons with the help of icons command. So I'm just going to copy that, go back to my application, open in terminal and install material UI icons into my project. So now material UI icons have been installed into this project and we are ready to use them. So I'll go back to the documentation here in the material UI icons. So we have a huge collection of icons here let's go back to the project and see what kind of icons we should be using here so in the analytics i would like to use some icon that represents that this tab is going to lead to analytics so let's try to search something related to analytics so we have a lot of icons here that can be used for this tab so i'm just going to use this bar chart to represent my analytics section so if i click on this icon i will find a import command because I've already installed material UI into my application. So I can just copy this command, go back to my code. And here in my imports, I can add bar chart icon into my application. So let's save this and we can go back and see what we can use for the orders here. So for the orders, I'll just go back and search for something related to orders. I'm not able to find something. I think for the orders, I can use something like a cart icon or a shopping basket so i think this should be a good icon to use for the orders so i'm just going to import this into my application by using this command so let's copy that into our application now let's see what we can use for the stores so for the stores i'm just going to search something related to stores and we can see that we have many icons here but i kind of like this one to represent the store so i'm just going to copy that and bring back into my application and import it here and the last tab that we have is related to shipping so let's search something related to shipping in this gallery so we have this shipping icon that we can use so let's copy that go back to the application and import this as well so we have imported four icons for the four tabs and we were able to find all the icons related to all the sections that we have in this project so i'm just going to place the icons one by one here and we will try to improve the design of the sidebar using icons and we will see how icons make a lot of difference in your designs so let's go back and put our analytics icon here so for the analytics i'm using bar chart icon so this is my entire code related to my dashboard so i'm just going to find the button that is analytics so here i have a list item and then i have a button and inside the list item icon, i'm just going to place my bar chart icon so let's save it and let's see how it looks on the screen so we can see that this is how it looks on the screen so it's coming alongside analytics but the size is too small so i'm just going to control the size of this icon by putting some styling to it so here I can just put some styling and on the style, I can say my font size can be 50 pixels. Let's save this. Yeah, I think this is better, but it's probably too big. So I'm just going to make it 40 pixels. So this looks the right size for this icon. This is looking much better. So same way, I'm just going to put all the icons here. So I'll just go to my code, find my orders tab. So here in the orders tab, I am just going to place my another icon. So this is the icon that I'll be using for the orders. That is a shopping basket icon. So let's go to the orders, place a shopping basket icon here. And again, we can put the same styling here and the font size can be again 40 pixels. Let's save this. So now we have another icon near the orders tab. The same way I'm just going to put the stores icon and the shipping icon here. So let's go back to the stores tab. So here in the stores tab, I'm just going to place my store icon. And I'm also going to assign the same styling here. The font size is going to be 
40 pixels again and same way i'll just go to my shipping tab and put my shipping icon here and again i'm just going to assign my font size to this shipping icon and this is going to be 40 pixels again so now you can see that the sidebar is looking much better with the icons without the icons it looks kind of boring so how icons are significantly improving the design of our sidebar so that's how we use material icons in the project so basically we just have to install material icons and then we can search the gallery search for the icon that we want to use import it into our project and place it wherever you want in your application you can put any kind of styling to it for example even change the color of these icons as well by using the normal css color property so this video is all about icons so if you have learned something new in this video subscribe to the channel leave a like on the video and i'll see you in the next one